I'm Lizzie and this is my mom. And today we're gonna be making cassava cake, which is Filipino tradition. Yes. And it originally originated from my mom's family. Her mom in the Philippines used to make it. But actually before they learned how to make this, they just ate the grated cassava all by itself. So let's just get started with the ingredients and supplies. Okay, so first you'll need grated cassava, a cup of sugar, condensed milk, yes. three eggs, macapuno strings, yes, uh, coconut milk, you have to have two kinds of coconut milk, uh, jackfruit, you need a jackfruit, a Vin teaspoon of vanilla, butter, uh, butter, one for um, what do you call that? Stick of butter. And also for the topping, you want to reserve one, another can of coconut milk and three more three, eggs. Three more eggs. So we have to mix everything now. And also for the supplies, we need a large bowl to stir in, a whisk, or maybe a KitchenAid mixer, whatever you find works best, and some type of baking pan. I, we just like to use these non-stick ones. And the opener for And the also, cans. yeah, can opener. Okay, so next what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have to open all the cans and we're gonna be mixing the ingredients for the the, cake, the actual cake. We're gonna mix them together. Here, adding this jackfruit and syrup. You're just taking the syrup. And we have to cut, slice And we're gonna uh, slice the jackfruit. Two different baking pans because it won't fit in one. 
and then do not add the topping yet. We are gonna be baking this for how many minutes? Hello? Uh, depends, depends. Um, just until it feel like two hours. Okay, so we're gonna be baking the actual batter for two and a half hours, and then we're gonna be baking the topping on top once that is done. So we're just gonna be putting this into the oven. Okay, so it's been a while baking, and so we're just gonna put the topping on top, and then let it bake until it's golden brown. Okay, so once the cake is golden brown, it should look something like this. You will take it out of the oven, and then you're done cooking. No, I don't have my... Okay, so we both have this like, we both have our own little pieces, and we're gonna try it. Mm. Perfect. I wouldn't say that. Sweet. Yeah. Um, so making this dish made me want to go back to the Philippines and visit my family. Mm. That's right. And it tastes very good. Mm. And it taught me about, my experience taught me about Filipino tradition and how my mom's family um, made this. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.